I have a co-star on today's uh, episode of Secret Spots with Jiggly. That, that definitely looks like a sheath for a sword. Yeah. Or at least half of one. This is Super Gamer 606. Should I drop this? Yes. All right. So. And just like every other episode of Secret Spots with Jiggle, I'm going to tell you exactly where we're at. This is a retention pond at Riverside Park. I'll post a picture of the map right here. And they've recently, as you can see by the debris, deepened it, widened it, and made it bigger. And this spot right here used to be a dry dock years ago back in the canal days and it also was a landfill for debris from the 1913 flood which is all the bricks all the pottery and junk over there that they dug up and of course you know they left it now this is actually a bird sanctuary thus giant bird house. The, the giant birdhouse so even if we do catch something, we can't keep it, but that's okay. We catch and release anyway. But in super, oh, he jumped again. That same spot. All right, so can I tell them what we're doing here? Tell them what we're doing, Super Gamer 606. All right, so earlier when we were looking to see if there is any fish in this place, we saw a monster fish jump up over here, and I am using my grandfather's old old fishing stuff that my stepdad recently fixed up and got working again. Yep. That we're is, after that we're after that big fish. That is a 70s era fishing rod and reel, and that's one of Pop's old lures right there, old jitterbug. Yep. And my box here is more of his stuff, and that's what we're going to use. We're going to use just his stuff, nothing of ours, to see if we can't catch a fish. And I'm seeing a creek inlet over there that looks like it might be good. But that big fish has been jumping kind of right straight out here in front. So let's video your first cast. Yeah. Hell yeah! So this is a, a good fishing tactic to keep it low and have your finger on the string so there's no tangles. Yep. And that's about the perfect speed. You want that to wobble. Well, first cast, you know. Yep, first cast. Water isn't near as clear as I thought it was. I think I fibbed to you when I said the water was kind of clear, but that's all right. Mommy. Visibility is, uh, what did you I don't know, two, three feet. Expect? What did you expect the water to be like when it's surrounded by all this debris and stuff? All right, see, so you caught trash. Get that off there before you cast it again. I'm actually going to, there's a flat spot right here. I'm going to put my ass in it and get comfy and rig up my stuff. Did I get right in your way? Don't hook me, don't hook me. Yeah, you were standing directly in front of me. All right, let's try that again. Second cast, here we go. Holy mac. Okay, I almost threw it across the pond. Let's see what we got here. I can't see my screen. There we go. It's so damn bright. Yeah, but our main goal, well, my main goal is to catch that monster fish. I'm going to use another one of his old lures called a Lazy Ike. Never heard of a Lazy Ike? But... Neither have I until I inherited all of his stuff. And it looks interesting. All right, did we, did we ever tell him that he's dead? Well, yeah, thanks. That was... Awkward. This is a lazy Ike. Okay, my shades are polarized. I can't see the screen on my phone. Yeah, wander around. Yeah, I was tempted to use that thing, but I decided against it because... This is a lazy Ike. I've never seen one before. And that's what I'm going to use. Woo! Thing casts good for being 40 years old, doesn't it? Yep. Shades down, shades down. All right. I will come back to record once we catch something. Uh, well, if we catch something. 
Well, I'm sure we will. We have the luck with us today. I'm recording. Okay. So we've been here for a while. Uh, no, no sign of any fish other than the jumps we've been getting. We haven't been able to catch anything. But I wanted to record for this cast just to see if we can get any luck. Luck, because we've been fishing over that way. Uh, my sister's fishing down there, so I'm gonna see if I can cast into that straight out area. And this is the new thing that I'm using. So, yeah. I would attack it out of fear if I was a fish. There's two ways to use this, either you wait and let it hit the bottom, then reel it in a bit, and then rinse and repeat, or you just cast it out and reel in slowly. All right, so what are you gonna do for us? Um, I'm gonna start by doing the uh, let it drop. All right, go for it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that didn't... <laughs> well, you know, the fish has a concussion now. <laughs> oh, boy. I have no idea why I did that. No, I'll try it again. All right, let's try that again. There we go. Much better. Muy bueno. One, two, three, let it drop. One, two, three, you get it right. Oh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Hope that didn't record. The idea is basically bounce it off the bottom in case there's any fish on the bottom. The water's still kind of cold. And because we're here in spring peepers, a uh, young'un down there is throwing a frog. And we got your basic Rapala action going over here. So if there's something in here, we're going to catch it. And we're probably not going to stop until we do. Or it gets dark and cold. Yep. All right. I'm a wiener. I don't like being cold. Let's try the other other way. Woo! Much better cast. Look at that. Now, do you want to show them this? Is this the correct speed to go? That's about right. And then it has a real funky flop and swim, flop and swim action. It's it, never seen like it before. That's works. not our alarm. But what works, works, so you know. Yeah. I know there's fish. We saw them when we got here. And it's too shallow at the entrance. She's switching to over to a swim bait. Chuck that swim bait. Chuck it good. It's too shallow over there for them to swim out of here, so they're still in yeah. here somewhere. Yeah, there's a creek outlet across from us, right there. But it's, you know, inches of water, so... Whatever it was that was a big fish can't get out, so he's trapped in here with us. Until we catch him. And then we'll leave him alone. Maybe. Oh, yeah, Jet, nice. Squirrel! Going back to the let it drop. All right. One, two, three. Don't One, no, no breaky. Three. One, two, three. We have caught the great North American grass fish. <laughs> One, two, three. That was a trophy-sized grass fish. Why didn't you hold that up for the camera? Demonetization. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to quit recording for a minute. She's getting mad. I have made it to the creek outlet for this little pond here. And like I said, it's, it's just too shallow to have anything in it. But frogs, the wife and kids are treasure hunting in the landfill. They found all kind of cool shit. But this is shallow here. So I'm going to make a couple last casts here to see if I can't catch something. And then I think I'll be uh, about ready to give up. Hey, there's some bird footprints. 
But anyway. Yeah. Well, all you cool cats and kittens didn't catch anything. But I had a good time out here in this little pond. It, I've only caught one fish out of this thing ever. But it's easy access. And when we were driving by the debris field, caught my attention. And I'll tell you what, the kids have had a blast treasure hunting. And they found some cool stuff. Um, what I'm going to do, since the kids found a whole bunch of cool stuff, we didn't catch nothing fishing, we're going to do a second video showing off all the cool stuff the kids found. Does that sound like fun? can do it right now, I guess. Sun's setting, as you guys can see. It's a real pretty sunset. Yeah. And we probably would have had better luck fishing if we had gone to the river, which is right there. But, we didn't. Like I said, the debris field caught our attention. So I'm going to swap the camera over and see what we got. <laughs> 